Who doesn't love going on a shopping trip and coming home with a true treasure, especially if it's something unique and extraordinary? One great way to find these prizes hidden in plain sight is by hitting a garage sale or 12 on a beautiful weekend. But in a tale as old as time, at a certain point you realize, I need to get rid of this stuff once again. The answer to that problem is garage sales. Mm -hmm. Leslie Dolby is a woman who can do everything from DIYs to cooking and everything in between. Instead of walking us through a project, Leslie is here to share tips on making your rummage or garage sale the hit of the block. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having me. I happen to know that you're the queen of rummage sales because we live in the same neighborhood. Yes. And I'm telling you, you are great at this. Thank you. I think this is my seventh or eighth year organizing our neighborhood rummage. Yeah. And um, I brought some examples of my former rummage sales. These are bad examples. Okay. Bad examples. Do not organize like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Instead, I've learned over the years many good tricks on getting the the most successful rummage sale. Yeah. Okay. So in fact, we even put in a few pictures that you had some really the way that it's supposed to look. Is that right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the, the to look. first and foremost, you've got to organize. Mm. You've got to organize the garage sale so that it's easy to shop. Everything's clean and neat. And what a good thing to do is instead of pricing each item, mm -hmm. just put all of the 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 similar items together like okay I've got all the kids toys here and then simply put up a sign that says Barbies Barbies three dollars each yep. instead of pricing each individual Barbie Smart. that's Smart. a pro tip that Ooh, is a good tip because you, who has time for that right, right. right. <laughs> right. exactly right. another thing you can do is organize things into bundles so instead of saying oh ten cents for every little toy here mm -hmm. we're gonna do three dollars on this assorted bundle and it just makes it easier and you get a higher dollar value doing it that way as well. Yeah. That's a good idea too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then as far as taking pictures of your items to to make sure that you can grab the most attention online, mm -hmm. this is my number one tip. Do close-up photos. Oh. So if you see here, I have uh, clothing that is in focus and then some in the back uh -huh. and you see how close up that is this is a more eye-catching visual if you t go and put your rummage sale on Facebook or whatever rather than that's a good point. this right yes. <laughs> that's like uh, I don't want to my go. like trade secret <sighs> This versus yeah. this, yeah. because yeah, you're going to want to go to this rummage sale that looks clean, neat, and organized, and instead of this one. You're, you're right. right. That okay. is my mm -hmm. number one tip that I have. Um, That's true. <laughs> so the photos online are really important. Yes, okay. yes, exactly. Good, good. good photos. Now, um, as far as the number one accessory that you can buy is these <laughs> flags right okay. here. Yeah. If you don't have these flags and good signage to your rummage sale, nobody's going to show up. Right, right, right. <laughs> I like that so, sign too. Yeah, so you can make these uh, funny too. Like I just wrote, great junk this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to fill it with a bunch of details with your address and everything. As long as you have it on the corners of, if you're on a main street, have a corner one that says, okay, garage sale this way. And then on the next corner where they turn, another one, garage sale this way. Yeah. As many corners as you need to, so they can find your flags. And what I do is I take it and I tie it to the side of my light on my on my house and drape it to another sign like that on the street. I was going to ask. And then right. it just kind of directs people to get to your rummage sale. Perfect. It yeah. would it be um, behoove you to actually get uh, helium balloons uh, to put on the signs, like to, as an eye catcher? Yeah, I suppose okay. you could do that. I yeah, mean, nothing, anything to catch the eye. Anything to catch the eye. Yes. Can it really pay off to coordinate with your neighbors? 100%. So there's two things that you can do. So um, one, if you have a neighborhood rummage sale, definitely participate during that time because you have other people coming and so the traffic is just going to be more. Secondly, if you don't have a neighborhood rummage, you can do multi-family rummages. So get a couple of friends together and then you have a large variety of items. So maybe one family has boy clothes to sell, one family has girl clothes. And when you make your listing online to advertise it, multi-family rummage, so they know there's a lot of variety there that they can choose from. And then you kind of share the um, actual jobs to share mm -hmm. the burden. Yes, right. yes. exactly. It's I think a lot of work. This payment <laughs> accepted thing is a good idea because I don't know that I've even 
Like, I would have just been like, cash? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I like to have good signage, mm -hmm. and I like to do a sign like this one over here where it's kind of your liability sign. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Safety and liability is always an issue. Make sure you just kind of put that up of where your cash register area is. Yep. No price tag. Make an offer. I like You it. don't have to price every single item. And especially if somebody's mm -hmm. looking good at an point. item, you can just be like, hey, would you take that for a dollar or whatever? Yep. Um, you can also take a whole table table full of stuff that's just smaller dollar value make a big sign that says all items on this table one dollar yeah yeah that works really well too mm -hmm. now this is my kind of trade secret as well <laughs> uh -huh, okay. I wonder about this okay <laughs> so I every year I do a fill a bag sale Smart. and what you do is the first day of your sale you price it higher because you have the better items left second day drop it down a little third day even cheaper just to get rid of it so you can put whatever you want in your fill a bag. I usually do clothing and shoes just because that is easier and it's hard. I don't want to price every single item that I have. So right. here, here's a bag that I provide for you. Fill it $30 for whatever you can fit in the bag. You are a rummage I, genius. I was going to say, can I just say something? This is so important. Here's why. Because when I go to rummage, if I see that it's been there a couple of days, I think, ah, yes. I'm not going to go there. Now it's been picked over. Yes. But this is a way to show people that you care, by the way, and you <laughs> yeah. recognize it too. Yes, you can get and it cheaper. And you're going to get it cheaper. Yep. I like that. I might Thank even you. come Thursday and say, I don't really want to do a $30 bag, yeah, but okay, I'll eat well. a lot of stuff I like, so I'm going to come back on Saturday. Yep. What, what's left is left. Yes. But. And sometimes what I'll do even is on that that uh, last day, the entire table of $1 items, that's in the fill bag. Yeah. Just whatever, all right. of this stuff. You can yes. kind of rework as you go. You can price things as you go. As far as pricing is concerned, I like to do the higher dollar value items first and work your way down to the little ones. And make sure you put OBO on your tags. Make them colorful like this. If you've got a, a lawnmower or something, $50 OBO or best, best offer. Okay. Because yeah. then they know you can kind of haggle. Mm -hmm. um, you can use these price tags. This is just quick little easy, boop, 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 oh, put yeah. them on, or you can use masking tape. Oh. And you can write, especially if you have like, oh, this is a brand new toy that my kid never used. Brand new, $10, and you can just tape it right to the item. Yeah. And this this and neon poster boards are your best friends. I bet. Mm -hmm. For garage sales. Wow. Yes. Very good stuff. <laughs> You've wow. blown Learned my mind again. You, I don't know how, like those are really, now, now, to be fair, you run a boutique, so you have some expertise yeah. in sales, right? So yeah. you're using some of that skills. I mean, which all came first, I wonder. Yeah, <laughs> the rummage which, came first. Great idea. Thank you so much for being here. I am almost ready to consider having my own. Yes. <laughs> yes.